Yo, welcome to the video series where I help you start um, an online or and face-to-face in-person tutoring business. Now, um, this is uh, the next video. If you haven't seen the previous videos, make sure you go watch those. But in this video, I wanna talk about some of the different softwares that I use in my tutoring business um, and I recommend as well. So check it out. The very first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need something to manage your students, right? The scheduling, the the hours, you know, um, you know how many credits they have left. If you sell packages, which that's going to be in another video here, we're going to be going in, uh, into more detail into packages and stuff and why I recommend them um, and stuff like that. So the very first one is I use Learn Speed, um, and the reason I like them is because one, um, they're very good. You know, I've I've used them uh, virtually my entire career, and I think they're fantastic. Um, but also because it's 29 cents per session, which is cool because if you have, you know, if you have months that are super, super busy, well, awesome, you pay 29 cents a session. But uh, if you have, maybe you have a summer month or you have, you know, maybe a couple weeks that are slower, well, it's gonna, it's gonna be less. So the bill kind of throttles with how much money you're making. So I think that's fantastic. I think it's an awesome model. Um, and you can actually sign up for free. So you just go to learnspeed.com, which is, Awesome, so that's my first software. The second software I use um, is called Smart Tutor. You can check that out at smarttutor.io. Um, now, just for you know a full disclaimer, this is a system that I created myself, but I do not know how I would market and grow my business without it, and I genuinely mean that. So um, if that's something you're interested, um, go check that out. If you're starting right away, um, Smart Tutor might be something to just kind of put on the back burner. Um, but learn speed, I recommend getting that right away. So you can go check out these two things. Um, the third thing I wanna talk about is if you're an online tutor, um, then I highly recommend Zoom. I'm sure you've heard of it, but Zoom is just a very, very good place to, to kind of host your, your tutoring sessions and do that face-to-face -face interaction, and I think it's a, it's a great software. Um, and the fourth thing that I might recommend is Trello. Um, Trello is something that actually my fiance introduced me to. She's all huge in like organizations and stuff. Me, I'm the worst. So she said, hey, you need to get on Trello. So I've been using Trello and I think Trello is fantastic. Um, you can sign up for free. You know, they obviously have a paid version as well. Um, but you can start off with just the free, the free version. And Trello is cool because it's kind of like, um, these are called boards. So they're like Trello boards. And so you can really, really organize what you gotta do. Like for example, you can have a to-do thing, a doing, and then a done. You can just drag them from thing to thing so you can visually see what you've accomplished, you know, what you gotta get done, um, and all that good stuff, which I think is very, very important um, for any business. So with that being said, guys, these are going to be the four softwares that I recommend for your uh, tutoring business. Outside of these four, um, I literally can't think of another software you need. So if you have these four, you're gonna have everything you need in your tutoring business. Business, you're gonna be able to market your tutoring business, um, you know, effectively. You're going to be able to uh, manage your tutoring business effectively. You're gonna be able to host your online sessions if you're in person. Obviously, you don't need Zoom, um, and then you're gonna be able to, you know, organize everything that you got to do with your Trello boards. Um, the only other thing that I might recommend actually in uh, in the future or even right away maybe, which isn't up here right now, would be QuickBooks. Um, that's just something to manage your finances. So as money starts to come in and stuff, you know, I think that um, your accounting and stuff is actually very important as well. So those would be the top five. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video.